Good morning, Justin here. And today I'm going to be drawing Jesse, our sheepadoodle, member of our family, because Julian, one of my kids, is graduating from Capital University and wanted to decorate his graduation cap with a picture of uh, our dog. So here I'm just using a combination of Copic and Blick markers. And I'm starting first with the lightest tones just to get the basic shapes in. And I progress slowly to darker tones to start adding some gradients, some of the darker tones. Now, he's a lot easier to draw now to show his features just because within a year of uh, age, he went from being a completely black dog where he doesn't look very good in a photograph you can't see his features just because he's really black black but with the gray hair now it's much easier to see his features so I slowly work my way towards darker tones and of course with markers as they dry and they dry fairly quickly as they dry the values do get lighter so I have to I had to do this uh, multiple times multiple layers I'm not particularly good at using markers so this is almost like an experimentation and uh, practice for me so once I get the basic uh, shapes in and tones that I want I switch to a pen just to start making it more of a drawing start to add the details of the hair the direction of the hair and I'm using it as well to add value, darker values, as you see here, as I put in the shadows. And the dark shadows uh, that are of the hair that's over his eyes. So sheepadoodles are a combination of English sheepdog and poodle, which is great for our family just because two of the kids actually have pretty decent allergies to dogs, to regular dogs, and they actually break out quite a bit with the rashes. And with sheepadoodles being hypoallergenic, this has a, hasn't been an issue at all for the kids. So I'm using a paint marker here just to add the teeth, keep it uh, quite white and contrasty. And that should pretty much do it. So congratulations to Julian for graduating summa cum laude from Capital University. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.